So as I stride, I'm going to walk away from my hands and load my swing. What's going to swing the bat? The back hip is. So that's going to be the accelerator. That's going to be the gas pedal that I'm going to use. This is not the gas pedal. The stride is not the gas pedal. This is not the gas pedal. The lead hand. The lead shoulder. This is not the gas pedal. The gas pedal is the back hip. Remember that controlled aggression I was talking about? Joe was always using the front shoulder as his accelerator. Until Joe figured out how not to use his front shoulder as his accelerator. And he started using his back hip to accelerate the swing. Then he became a great college hitter. Okay? Great college hitter. So we need to learn how to accelerate with the back hip. Not the lead foot, not the lead knee, not the lead hand, not the lead elbow, not the lead shoulder, not the head. We need to learn how to accelerate the back hip. So as we all load, let's walk away from the hands and put ourselves into a position where we can accelerate. All right? Together. Stand at your back. We're going to try to get eight inches outside the back. We're going to try to get there under control. Ready? Go. Again. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. All right, coach. All right, coach. How does my back hip accelerate? Well, if you're not at 50-50 like I am, or about 60-40, which would be perfect, but 50-50, I like to talk about it. Because 60-40 puts guys at 80-20, and 50-50 sometimes put guys at 70-30. And so I'm talking 50-50. I'm talking trying to get to this position where I feel like my weight is equally distributed. What happens to most hitters, here's the breakdown for high school hitter. Someone has told you to stay back. So all your weight stays back on the back side. If this is my accelerator and all my weight is back here, how can I accelerate my hip with all my weight stuck on the back side? I can't do it. There's no way. Everyone get in this position and put all your weight on your back side and feel it just controlling the hip. Go ahead, push down in there and stay in there. Stay in there on the hip. And how could you accelerate from that position? The only thing you can do is jump. That's the only thing you can do is jump, and that's why the breaking ball is such an effective pitch, because it gets you to jump off the back side. Now, everyone, just go 50-50. Good, just stand there. Now, the field back hip, is it there? Does it want to accelerate? It wants to accelerate because you got some balance. Now, take your head, fellas, from 50-50. 50-50, stay there. Push your head backward. Push your head backward. And now, what's happening to the accelerator? It's done. It's done. So how important is the head in this transition? Now take the head and put it forward. Forward. What's going on with the back hip? Can you feel any, any acceleration or are you done? done? Now put the head in the center and put your weight in the center. And now tell me, can you feel the acceleration? I can go from right there. I can go from right there and become a, a good hitter. So what is the most important piece to hitting? It's not my swing. It's not my swing. It's putting myself in the position Joe said earlier today. He said, I just had to figure out how to get back to that same position. This is the position he's talking about. The strike foot has landed. The head is solid. My weight is 50-50, and now I can launch my swing. I can go away, middle, or in. But if my head does this, I'm in trouble. If my head does this, I'm in trouble. If my weight does this, I'm in trouble. That means i got to get it elevated in the middle of the plate. They're not trying to do that. And you'd be like, well, Coach, I can remember hitting a lot of balls off my back leg pretty good. How many pitches down and away off of this back leg did you see yourself accelerating through? Not many. Not many. I can't visualize hitting good pitches in a good position with my head going in the wrong spot. All right, so stand there. Good. Now you can hit. Now you can hit. We're going to go ready, load, and then we'll be in a position to swing. So I'm going to say ready and load. And when you get here, I just want you to check. Remember Avatar, the 3D glasses? Feel this. Feel that you're at 50 50 and you're ready to go towards the hit surface with some aggression. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Joe, see this right here? So he leans back. His weight's probably 70, 25, something like that, just because of the toe.